Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Wayward Wags. Today, we are back at it again. More RV shopping. Drove to Calera, Alabama, which is about 30 miles south of Birmingham. There's three or four dealerships out here that are pretty decently sized. So we're gonna go check out some RVs. Lucky you, because we're bringing you along with us. going to show you every RV that we look at because we're going to look at a bunch today but we'll definitely show you the ones that are contenders to be our next home full-time RV house on wheels y'all ready ready I'm ready I got my paper I'm ready come on this used to be a small dealership and they, all the RVs used to be up front in the big parking lot but now they built an extra space way out here, and so you have to go by golf cart. And they let us choose whether we can go with the dealer or we can bring our own golf cart. So, of course, we chose to take our own golf cart. And they screwed up by giving me a golf cart. Yes, Somebody they did. dropped the hell out of this thing. <laughs> NASCAR day. <laughs> so we're in a Sanibel now, and we like the style of the, the way the stairs look. If you can see this. The stairs go up and then kind of to the back room. Kind of gives it that more residential look. But most of the Sanibels are over 40 feet. I don't know if Sanibel is going to be an option for us or not. But we'll take a look. Now this is the Volano 375 FL. It's the front living. Uh, we like this one because it has room separation. And it has one of the best bathroom setups that we, that we like. Has the front living space. area lots of space come up here you can spin around real easily lots of floor space it's hardwood up floor or hardwood laminate up here which i like better than carpeting and clearly definable room separation because you got to go down the steps into the kitchen some rigs have bathrooms or washer dryer combos in this area right here but they chose to increase the space in the bathroom for this one so instead of having a pantry space here they put the pantry space over here inside the slide and it maximizes your your bathroom space in here and you see like you can see why this is one of our favorite bathroom setups because it's so tall it's huge double sink. it has the double sink set up the, the um, toilet over here and then it, it has entrances from both the hallway and you can go through the bedrooms so if you have guests over they can access this bathroom without getting to your to your bedroom and you can get to your bathroom without having to go out and uh, mingle with the with the folks and then there's plenty of space in the in the bedroom um, lots of storage space in here and uh, then your washer dryer setup is going to be inside of your closet back here so this is the rear bedroom setup with the front living this is a solitude 310 gkr um, it's a typical fifth wheel setup in the back but it's, it's a solitude so it's it's good rig um, nice light fixtures a ton of window space to let sunlight in and you got your typical dual recliners couch uh, and then you have your TV fireplace. Some places automatically have the built-in over here that's totally built-in with the TV. Um, I like what Solitude did here because they have a window back here and your TV can go up and down. So if you're not watching TV, you can put that down and let some more sunlight in. So you can see starting from here in the back of this coach, the windows just in the back, back here. And that whole slide is basically windowed out and then you got your your kitchen with your island you know so this is one of the shortest ones that we would go with if we went shorter because i think it still has you know everything that you, that you would need um still has your king size bed and your washer dryer hookup and everything back here with some storage space this guy lifts up for some storage in here 
and all those drawers open up for for more storage and um, you can see back here uh, the headspace is a little bit better than it was over there with the big countries and with uh, some of the Volanos you can see uh, I have an extra probably six seven inches and I'm six foot tall so definitely doable if we're gonna go shorter what do you think about it yeah it's a pretty simple setup but um, got everything you need yeah. and it's definitely less than 40 feet yeah it definitely is not the ideal bathroom setup that we like, but it's, it's, doable. it's doable. It's enough. And you can see this solitude right here. What model is it? 372 WB. 372WBR. But you can see this has like the full body paint. So this thing is like full body auto paint. Not going to fade. Not going to chip all that stuff. This is like the, the good stuff. You're going to pay more for it. Same setup as the inside. They have the same models with the regular paint like you would see over here but this is cool looking and according to the look on her face it probably is cool on the inside too yeah oh man as soon as you walk in you see there's a the sink here which separates this is like a big kitchen pantry I love this it's got a little Put your shoes under there little nook there hang your stuff and this is this is wide open this one's a little bit bigger than the last one we were in but you can see setup wise it's pretty much the same setup wider fireplace the last one i think only had one window back there this has got two still got the pop-up tv and just like the other one um windows and windows and and windows and windows and got the little fridge down there a little wine fridge the sinks way over there so kind of the same setup same light fixtures and same decor but just bigger more space and the other one had the bathroom as soon as you go up the stairs on the left this one's going to have the bedroom and then it's going to have the the front bath that gives like the foe of more space um you got your pocket door here uh so you come in here um into the bedroom it does have a little bench there to help you like get ready or sit down on both sides the other one didn't have that and it's got the uh lift up storage um and then the bathroom in the very back this is probably where your um yeah you got dual sinks back here with one big mirror probably your washer dryer set up back there the um shower is pretty good size um lots of space back here yeah the stools they they lift up for more storage in there really the only downfall that i see to this if it is over 40 that's a downfall so we'll have to check the the specs on that but the only other downfall that i see to this is that if you have company they're going to have to go through your bedroom to get to the bathroom which is not like i mean it's not terrible it's not terrible i mean if you have a coach that you love and that's what you want and most of the time it's just going to be me and leslie so it's not gonna be that big a deal um so we can accommodate for a couple of days a week whatever but I, I like this one it's just kind of like the other solitude that we just looked at but just bigger and better <laughs> if it's less than 40 this this could be uh, this could definitely be an option well that's it for dixie rv yes now we're headed over to grab some lunch then out to the dealership since it's getting increasingly hot mm -hmm. it's cloudy the whole way here so we're probably going to go over to chick-fil-a or zaxby's or something you gotta eat them french fried taters mm -hmm. look like waffles still taste like taters mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna go get us some french fried taters that look like waffles still taste like taters These tall ceilings are awesome. Mm -hmm. Wide fireplace. And this has the washer dryer already on board. Oh, it's already in it? Yes, sir. Wow. If you want to, I'll just give you a copy of this got it in the store 
and you'll know the options and the color and all this is, this is your standard pinnacle and this is everything we add we get to pick and choose how we do it you yeah know, how you want to outfit it in. I like the space it's my favorite back Yeah. Similar setup. Yeah. Just smaller. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. The actual differences between a pedicle and a north point are the rear cap. This has a wall instead of a cap. Yeah. This has one thousand pound less heavy axles, but the same tires. The smaller axis and instead of being gone yeah so this is the problem you got tv here those are the slide awnings which cover the slides they don't come out here to cover you while you watch the tv the only awning on this thing is over here now there's a coax hook up in here that you put a tv on but you already got a tv way down there you just gotta sit in either the sun or the rain to watch TV. Make any sense? I could sacrifice it. <laughs> you could sacrifice it? Yeah. I'll put up a tent. <laughs> it's good enough? Yeah, I like this layout. That's a cool layout. It's got the rear kitchen. I really like this layout. And it's got the recliner space and the TV. Sofa's on both sides, and the kitchen is separate. I don't know what the length is on this. And one of the other ones that we liked, they don't have the model here, but they had it somewhere else that we looked. And I don't remember, on one of the previous videos, I'll put a, up here, I'll put a card to, to go look at that video. 3560, 3561, Montana's. That's the one that had the caddy corner TV in the in the corner, and the desk, and the outside TV, and the the decorative beam that went up between the the rooms. Now, I didn't realize then, but I do now, that it does not have an awning over its TV outside either. The awning is on the opposite side. Now, I don't know if there's an option to add an awning over those sections. But I would say that if you could add an awning, I would add an awning to cover me while I'm outside watching TV. It doesn't make sense to have an awning on one side and then entertainment on the other. Like, you, you're covered if you want to sit over here bored, but if you want to be entertained, you've got to sit in the rain or the sun. It makes sense. Three people were in this kitchen. You wouldn't feel like you were all up on each other. Yeah, I doubt I'll be in the kitchen anyway, so... Other than to grab a beer out of the fridge. I like it. Otherwise, I'll be, I'll be hanging out outside in the rain watching TV. <laughs> so now you can see one of the glaring differences between the Solitudes and the Montanas. Because this setup is about the same. What's this, 331? 331 RL. RL, Montana. And you'll notice they have a good in the Montana versus the Solitude, if you remember, has the TV here. And like I said, sometimes manufacturers will build it all in, which Montana does. There's no window back there like there was on the Solitude. That's not a terrible thing. It's just different based on your preference. You wouldn't get a window there. So, But the rest of it, you can see window-wise, it's about the same as it was with the Solitudes on this big slide over here in the living room. And the setup is pretty much the same as it was in the Solitude. Still get your storage in your pantry here. Uh, still get a little cabinet over there. One of the models had a half bath over there, but this one has the, the little desk. And it's gonna be probably ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 cheaper in a Montana than it would be in a Solitude. And it still has the, the double sinks and the the bathroom setup that we prefer to be 
this way instead of being jammed up. Yeah. Pretty much the same bedroom. Pretty much the same setup. You know, good use of space for storage and stuff like that. So, in relation to some of the solitudes we saw earlier today, pretty much the same. Just missing the window. You can kind of tell that the quality is not on the solitude level, but it's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's still good quality. It's just not as good. And this is probably 60-ish, between 60 and $65,000. Whereas the solitude is probably around 80-ish. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you want a little bit better wood quality and an extra window behind your TV for $15,000? It's a question you got to ask yourself. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This one makes sense. You have the TV out here. And look, awning. It has the slide awning to cover and protect your slides when they come out. And then it has another awning over here which covers the TV. That leads me to believe that you can add them aftermarket on any coach. So maybe the other one's not a deal breaker. I think, I think this one's gonna be too long too. This is 3811. This one's gonna be too long. This probably is, but it's nice. It's really nice. Pretty much the same. Everything. Mm-hmm. Same setup. And just like I talked about, your minus your minus your window back here. However, this one has a wider fireplace than the one we were just in, and the windows aren't as huge. I, I do have windows here, but then it doesn't have. You can see it here instead of giving you all this window space here, they give you some storage up there, which is okay. It's good. I mean, there's pros and cons to every every layout. I mean, you want more light, you want more storage, you want awnings over your TV, you want to go less than 40 feet, you want to go a little bit over, you want your bathroom set up the way you want it. I mean, you're going to have to compromise somewhere. Hey, we've been in this before, and this it's is one that has a pass through, closet. passes through Remember? to the bedroom, super wide. It's like the washroom yeah. Room. yeah, bunch of space, and then it has the um, cool. sofa over there right. that we liked, and the built in TV. With some more storage. We're at the Montana 3121 anniversary edition. I think this is probably the smallest that we can go. I think the smallest that we want to go. I think this is about 35 feet ish. It's pretty much the same layout as everything else, just everything's a little smaller and more condensed. So, I mean, yeah, you still got a decent living space. It's just everything's, everything's tighter. Everything's a little tighter. It's and when I say tighter, kind of some of that what I'm talking about is like if I'm sitting here watching TV, it's not terrible in this layout, which I think this is why we kind of picked this one as our smallest version. Uh, some of the ones that you see that are in this length that have these types of setups that we normally would be good with. Like we're big on, on enjoying our entertainment and things like that. So just for me, the little small things like this guy, this island right here. If I'm sitting here watching TV and this island is sticking out to here, I mean, it's going to bug me. Um, and there are some models that are 34, 35 feet where they crunch, every, they crunch everything in. And this island sticks out here. And, you know, if you're tall enough, it's not going to impede your vision. But if Leslie were sitting here... It'd be more like um, this, and if the island was sticking out more, then her vision to the TV would look something like this. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I ain't watching TV with a dang island sticking out in the bottom right corner. I mean, some people might be okay with that, but if we're gonna be living in it full time, something like that for me would be a deal breaker. But in this model, I'm sitting here, I'm holding the camera at my eye length and it's not impeding my vision. So whether I sit here or whether I move over to this one, uh, we're good. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit and see if you can see, see if the island impedes your 
Nope. Impedes your vision. Does not impede my vision. Good to go. Mm -hmm. It yeah. cuts off still square at the other camera. And it's got the pantry over here versus over here that you'll see in some of the bigger models, which is not a not a terrible thing. But that just cuts off part of the what would be the desk in some of the other models. It's a good size pantry. But it'll give you this this pantry over here, and that's kind of how they can condense all this into a into a smaller space. What we do also like about the Montanas is the swivel door. It doesn't get in the way of, of things. Yeah. So that door is now open, but I can still Dude, walk. I can still walk through here without having to get out of the way of the door. Uh, it does have the, the smaller bathroom and the lower ceilings, but it's not terrible still. Um, for a smaller model, you're going to get stuff like that. Check this out. That's your stackable there. Mm -hmm. Lighting is bad, but this is a hamper. Oh, cool. So not bad. 3121 could be an option. Like I said, it's probably the smallest that we would go ever. So we're in a high country now, and this is a 305 RL, something like that. This is a little bit smaller than the 3121 that we just came out of. And you wouldn't think by scrunching it down just by a foot or maybe a little more that you would lose a lot of space. Um, it's just a little tighter. I mean, it, that island doesn't stick out in front of the TV, but you know, the fireplace is, is smaller, they kind of jam everything, smaller, and their fridge is smaller, smaller, stove is smaller, not as much stuff over here, the pantry's over over here, it's all kind of really tight. It helps by putting uh, a skylight though. But... Yeah, so, I mean, just that difference right there, I mean, it may not seem like a lot, but just walking in here, to me, uh, we said oh, this, it just feels a little too, it just feels a little too tight. And I think that's why when you walk into the 3121, it's doable, whereas this one, I don't think is. And yeah. the difference is a foot or less, but that foot or less is, that's where our line is. Um, you'll have to decide where your line is gonna be on what you can comfortably live in. I think that's our line. This is the Montana 3561. 3560 and 3561, 2018s, they did have the decorative thing here and the rear living back here. But over here is where they've made some changes. This used to be a little desk here and a TV caddy corner diagonally here. This has the pop-up TV with the desk sitting in front of it, which is still pretty cool. But last year's model had the outdoor TV, whereas this one does not, but has the coax hookup. So I think this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, is it looks different. It, it has the, the direct facing TV as opposed to the diagonal, but you still could have a desk um, when you have your TV down. So that's not terrible. You know, when you get your TV up, you just take your chair, you put it back over here, mm -hmm. and you're good. So this is the the 2019 3561 versus 2018 that had the caddy corner TV. So it looks like unless we're going to get a 2018 3560, we're not going to get the caddy corner uh, TV, which is not a huge deal. Everything else. But I do like the separation because these slides go right next to each other right here. This one slides here and this one slides here. You got this, what feels like a, a separation between living room and kitchen and then off to the bathroom and bedroom. So this is good. And I know that this one is, is less than 40 because this is one of the models that we have always been interested in, um, but they just made some changes. Last year's model had an outdoor TV right here, but no awning. The awnings over here. This year's model. No outdoor TV, but that has a coax hookup in here. But it does have the awning here, so we would put the TV here and slide it out. Well, that's it. RV shopping done for today. Yep. Long trip there, long trip back. I'm digging these cooled seats. Yeah. Makes my ass happy. I don't know how we survived for that. Literally, makes my ass happy. <laughs> well, we did a lot more talking on this video because kind of wanted to get you know, a gauge to show you guys where our mind's at when we're thinking about different options of RVs and why we're thinking about different things and kind of what's going to work for us. And uh, I think we're probably within five or six months or so, within the next five or six months, we're going to pull the trigger on something. We're going to, we're going to buy something. So by the end of the year, yeah, we, so we got to get uh, pretty serious about thinking about what it's going to be and you know, what we're going to do. So 
Well, what do you like today? What do you, what do you want? What are we buying? I don't know. <laughs> I like a lot. That's the problem. I gotta narrow it down. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I, in my mind right now, I'm thinking like, you know, bang for your buck, pretty good budget, pretty good quality, decent size, I mean, Montana fits in there. Yeah. You know, you can go Solitude or Milano or Landmark and you're going to spend a ton of money. You can get a good quality, but you're going to spend a ton of money. And pinnacle even mm -hmm. barely staying under 40 feet and spending a lot of money but I mean bang for your buck pretty good quality and uh, staying in a happy budget I mean we could spend a lot and still be okay but obviously the less we spend the more we'll have money to do other stuff or wiggle room as a safety net or whatever so I'd like to I don't want to go cheap end I don't want to cheap out yeah I want some good quality stuff but also don't want to spend a fortune uh, and I think Montana's right there in that they have a lot of models that we like yeah and then the high countries um, I like the high countries but I, I don't know that the quality is where I, I would like it to be you know we like some of their layouts but if you look at closely at some of the details which you probably can't see on the camera but you can see like stuff looks a little more flimsy you can see some like staple marks and tack marks and it just kind of seems like it wouldn't stand up as well so if I had to choose you know between the high country and the Montana um, layout wise pretty comparable but quality wise Montana is a little bit a little bit higher I'd want to go I'd want to go a little bit higher quality to make sure that we're good a lot to think about and we'll be looking at some more we'll be taking you along for more shopping we're probably going to go back to Macon at least once probably go back to Dothan. Dothan at least once and we may even go back to Birmingham at some point before we're going to be doing a lot of RV shopping before we actually pull the trigger we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing and due diligence and like we've said in the past and we've been in this process for over a year now looking at RVs and I think we need to make sure that we picked the right one. Yes. Don't want to have any regrets. No regrets. No regrets, baby. <laughs> so that's it for today. It was a good day. It was super hot. Yeah, it was. You didn't get to feel that in the video, but it was, we were dying at, at a couple points was pretty in the day. But we're back in the truck with the cool seats. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's it for today. Yeah, more out. Yeah, me too. Tired. Four hours of driving and probably four or five hours of looking at RVs and um, ready to grab some dinner and hang out. Let's scout. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.